and welcome back to my channel. I uh, hope that you're fine. I don't know what's the matter with me tonight. I'm just a little bit like, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. just a bit, hmm. I think I've still got jet lag from my holiday. I really do. Anyway, I have got for you an eBay haul. Um, well, it's eBay come wish. Um, wish is an app that you can get and it's basically, um, it's not auction stuff, it's all like, but a bit like AliExpress. Um, and they sell all sorts and whatever. And basically it's the same people that are on eBay and AliExpress. Just a different platform for them to sell their stuff on. Um, but I thought I would show you some of the stuff that I've got come through recently because I have had a few bits. Um, start off with this. This didn't come in a box or anything, it, this came as this plain black box and it's got a sticker on the back saying E4001. So open it up um, and in, inside you have 40 really tiny little, yeah, little eyeshadows. Um, I think this was £2. Um, I've got to say, the actual shadows don't feel too bad. They're not too chalky. Um, the shimmers are lovely. The, the only thing is, it's really quite diddy. That does look to me like a dupe of a Morphe palette, but I think I'd have to do that to make it look like it's the size of a Morphe palette. Do you see what I mean? So when I, in fact, theory, it's actually only that big. It is really, really tiny. They are little. Um, but, yeah, I'd, I'd like to do a swatch video for you to show you all the different colours that it does. It's quite a surprise, actually, because I honestly thought this was going to be a heap of junk when I first saw it. But they're not too bad. They're not too bad at all. So we're going to give them a go and see how we get on, but I thought well, it's two quid, can't really go wrong with two quid. Um, now, I've been introduced to a brand by one of my favourite YouTubers, who is Anwen. Um, she started talking about, oh, typical, just found my wet and wild highlighter that I was doing in my other video that I said that I couldn't find. Um, she introduced us as a viewer to a brand that we'd never heard of before um, and it was a company called Focal Your. Well that's how she pronounces it. I like to pronounce it as um, Focalor. Um, fo Focalor. Because I think, you know, Focal Your is really, sounds really good but when I say it, it comes out wrong. So Focalore, <laughs> I'm going to call it Focalore for now. Anyway, I've picked up some bits, um, got some eyeshadow palettes and they're really, really, really expensive. I've got these eyeshadow palettes. They were like one pound something each. Um, I mean, I mean really. Uh, this one is in 03 and it's Naked Eyeshadow Palette. Hmm, wonder what that's trying to be. So, honestly, I had didn't have high hopes for this at all. The packaging is really quite, quite nice. It's not cheap feeling at all. It's really quite expensive feeling. <laughs> I mean, you dig this, right? You get a mirror inside as well and a brush. And I mean, like, you know, for one pound something. And again, you know the the they they are quite pigmented, and I, I'm 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 thinking that this is meant to be a dupe for Urban Decay's Naked Three. All right, it's not as good as Urban Decay, but I mean if you're on a budget, I mean that's tiny. Yeah, okay, it's tiny. You got a mirror, that's worth something, and those are the swatches. And I think that they're actually really quite good. 
So let's get rid of that. So I will do like a proper video with proper swatches of these particular eyeshadows. Okay, so you're not going to miss out. But it's just this is just a haul just to show you what we got. So then we've got these three here. Um, now I'm convinced these are trying to be like the MAC ones that there are. Um, see, and these are called Denying the Colours eyeshadows. Um, we've got uh, in FA36, we have 01, 03, and 05. So I'll show you what they look like. Okay, can you see what I mean? Very, very similar packaging to MAC. Uh, no names or anything on. A little bit, a little bit of fallout. Um, this one I have worn, and I've got to say, is okay. I mean that. I don't know if you can see it. That shimmer. Let me just do it. Put it on the back of my hand. I've got stuff on here already, but let me just put it on the back of my hand so that you can see. Yeah, I mean it's it's not it's not bad. You know, it's not like old fashioned drugstore where you used to get no pigment at all and it used to be a hard block and you had nothing to go with. Um, you know, and for the money I, I think it it's okay. We'll see. We'll see. I need to do a full look or whatever. So I'll show you all the the colours. There we go, that's the other colours we've got. I like that, the plummy colours. I like plum colours. So we've got these colours here. So again, I will do um, full swatches. Feels like it's going to come out. Don't smell bad or anything like that. They're, um, yeah, I like the black packaging. Black packaging is good. And then the third one that we've got is this one here. And this has got some like burnt oranges and whatever in and some golds, god that's an old book, gold, I'll swatch that here, I mean that is quite pigmented to be honest, so yeah I, mean, I think these literally were like £1.90 or something like that from eBay or Wish, ridiculous, yeah, ridiculous price, so that's them, then we pick, I picked up some singles, <laughs> that's aim really good, isn't it? Oh, I picked up some singles. Went out club and then picked up some singles. Um, now this one here is rose gold. So I mean that is such a pretty colour. Um, and that's got a really lovely creamy feel to that. I'm running out of space to swatch. So that's that colour there. I mean that's a really I mean I, I really like that. That's that's really really pretty. Um and then I picked up another one which was called granite. And that's this one here, which in the pan doesn't look too bad. But when you come to swatch it, there's like nothing there. Well, there was a little bit there, but, and it's not like you've got a top layer that you've got to get through either. Oh, it's actually quite creamy underneath. Can you get through? Oh, oh, oh. It's just come out of the pan. Just hold that still. So I've really dug deep into that, but you can't see anything. So that that's a fail in my eyes. That's <laughs> or on my eyes. That's a total a total fail. So what's that granite? Okay. But the rose gold one I think is really quite pretty. 
Then we have this called Big Cover Liquid Concealer. And I've got this in O2. Um, oh, this is really good. This is, a, I really like this. This is such a good formula. So tiny, tiny amount. Um, so yeah, I mean that's got good coverage. I like that. I have used it and it is really good. So that's a that's a that's a hit as far as I'm concerned. And then I have a foundation as well, and this is in alabaster. Now this is waterproof as well. I mean, a waterproof foundation. I know what you're thinking. Why would you want a waterproof foundation? Well, if you're going swimming or if you're on holiday, um, or you know that you're going to be out in the piddle and down the rain, then it's good. I mean, that, that's very yellow, but it blends in really well, and it's got really good coverage to it as well. It, it blends lovely. So that is a hit. So we have a hit and we have we have lots of hits and we have a miss. Then we have these lip lipsticks. Then we've got matte lipsticks. One of them has come as a wrong colour, but I have number 10 in ruddy pink, number 7 in chestnut, and number 3 in burnt ember which was wrong, should have been a metallic rosy colour one. So there's your matte lipstick, so it looks, it looks normal, it looks absolutely fine. I mean I like the dofa, it's got the, it's flat sided, which is quite good, so it's easy to apply. <coughs> But the downside is, it really stinks. And I mean, it stinks. It stinks like paint stripper. It's horrible. Um, yeah, I think I could wear it on a day when I've got a really bad cold, so I can't smell it. Um, I mean, the colour is alright. I mean, they've sent the wrong colour. It's not necessarily a colour that I would choose to wear. It's very, very dark. Um... Then we have this one which is in chestnut, which is a nude colour, which I actually really like. I think that's a really, really pretty colour. It's just the smell is putting me off, so that's that one there. Smell really is vile. I don't know whether I can actually try and wear these or not because I think I might end up being sick from the smell. Um, and then we have this really, really pale, pale pink colour. Which, the doe foot in this is different. It's not the same as the other two. And I ha the lipstick, this one is very watery. But again, it stinks. I don't know if you can see the top one there. Is it? I mean, it's okay. Sorry, I I do look like I've got an orange hand. That's where I've been rubbing everything. Um. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. As I say, I'll have to wear them on a day when I've got a really bad cold, or I'll just stick some fix or something under my nose so that I can't smell it. Then, 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 I've got a metallic one which is in Mugshot, which is, oh, I don't know if you can see the metallic on there. I mean, it still says matte lip. How can it be matte if it's metallic? Well, it can be, but this is not matte. Um, now, this doesn't... That hasn't got that smell to it. So the bottom colour is that. I mean, they're only like a pound something, so you can't really complain. I feel really bad saying about it, they smell bad, because 
How quaint. You know? So I was thinking that maybe I could do perhaps like nearly a full face of Fockle Your. That's Anman's fault. I blame Anman. I really do. Then I picked up this brush. It's a pound fan brush. Um, which is okay. Wouldn't Nothing to write home about. It, it's a brush. Not the most fantastic brush in the world, but it works. Then I also got these, which are remove top corners of backing and apply shield below eye. Apply eye makeup. When finished, gently remove shields and dispose. Hello, flawless. So basically, the idea is. Open. You have these sticky bits, and you take you've got this shield bit here, and you stick it under your eye like so, and you do your eyeshadow, and it stops the eyeshadow bleeding onto the rest of your face. And also on top of that, it's supposed to make your eyeliner easier. It's all well and good, but I find that it's just like you go to put it on, and it kind of like doesn't stick to your face. And I think that's because you already got foundation on. I mean, I, this is such a good look, isn't it? Do you know what? I might start a trend. I might actually go out like this. You could go clubbing, clubbing like this, couldn't you? That would be such a wicked trend. Hey. Hang on a minute. I haven't got the finished look. Definitely not. There. Now, wouldn't you think that that would be an amazing trend? No? Anyway. So yeah, that doesn't stick, um, and yeah, so they were probably a waste of money. <laughs> um, and then the last thing that I got from them, from Wish, eBay, whatever, is this highlight, it's a rainbow highlight by Callum, by Callum. Callum, um, which is adorable. I mean, look at look at that. Is that so pretty? It is pretty, but it's totally useless because. Oh, well, I say it's. I, well, actually, do you know what? I take that back because now that I've scraped the top layers off, <laughs> look at them. That is pretty awesome, is that not? Is that a rainbow effect? Anyway, I thought that was really pretty. Um, just, just sit there looking pretty, really. But. Yeah, I think I paid a pound for that as well. So I could get my brush, dip my brush in. Yeah, that's picked that up, look. Gonna be really silly now. You see a rainbow on my forehead? Let me get close so you can have a look. Can you see a rainbow? I can't. I can't see. I can't see anything. I can't see a thing. So, um, but yeah, it's left my brush pretty colours. That's pretty. Um, so yeah, there you go. There you have it. There is my little miniature haul from 
from eBay and Wish. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the brand Fockle Your. I hope you um, looked at that and thought, oh yeah, we could, I could get some bits and pieces from that. That looks pretty cool. Um, right, now that the lipstick has dried up, I can see why that is called a matte now, because that has dried up totally as a matte. Um, yeah, they... Mm, 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 mm. I think mm, no. Mm, mm. That's a mm, mm, from me. Mm, mm, from me. Um, and this eyeshadow as well. I'm not entirely sure. But as I say, you can't complain. They're a pound. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now.